Hey, and uh, welcome to another edition of the Sloppy Bro Show. It's your host, Marcus. Just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, if you haven't already, uh, please go and hit that like button and subscribe and go ahead and punch that notification bell and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So here we are, December 23rd. Um, one more day, well, yeah, two more days closer to Christmas, tomorrow being Christmas Eve. Anyway, I was going to do a video, you know, talking some, you know, regular smack about the Dems and liberals. But, you know, then I kind of realized that's not really in the Christmas spirit. And, you know, it seems to be that you know, as a society, you know, we're missing a lot of that Christmas spirit. Anyway, Christmas is really difficult for me to kind of get into because, you know, I'll be honest, it's really not the same holiday, you know, without my family. Uh, for those of you guys that have been with me for a while, you know that I lost my dad in 97, my brother in 2012, and then my mother you know, just uh, this past 2018. So right now it's just, you know, me and my son. And, you know, not having them around makes, you know, Christmas time really difficult to get into. But, you know, luckily my boy um, keeps me motivated. But I got to thinking about it on the way home from work this afternoon. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, if it wasn't for my son, uh, I probably probably wouldn't even be here right now. Uh, you know, I just wouldn't, really wouldn't see the point. And, you know, it's because of him that, you know, I get out of bed every morning, go to work, and, you know, keep moving forward. But on my way home, I got to thinking, you know, that, you know, there's not a lot of people, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, probably isn't lucky in that sense. Um, so basically, I just want to make a video and let you know that, you know, you guys out there, you're not alone. You know, for those of us that, you know, have lost family members and, you know, maybe we're the last ones from our immediate family left, you know, you're, you're not alone. I know that this time of year can be really tough, really difficult. Um, you know, real sad, you know, time because, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, a time of laughter and cheer and goodwill and, you know, you get that from your family, but, um, when they're gone, you know, it's just you and I know how rough that can be. Um, you know, I ain't gonna lie. It fucking sucks. You know, but we got to find the strength somehow just to keep moving forward. You know, like I said in the beginning, I'm lucky that, you know, I have my son, he keeps me motivated and keeps me going forward. And if I didn't have him, you know, I know that it'd be a lot damn harder and difficult. But I've also got friends, you know, that look out for me and that, you know, have my back. So I, would, I just want you guys to know that you don't have to be alone this time of year. Reach out to your friends. You know, that's what they're there for. And if they're your, if they're true friends, if they're good friends, you know, they're going to be there for you and have your back. I know that can be difficult to do because, you know, we, the last thing we want to do is be a burden, you know, on somebody else. But, you know, that's what friendship is. You know, and if you've got good brothers, you know, or sisters that you can rely on, you know, that's what they're there for. Um, and if you don't have any friends, um, you're still not alone. There's... There's places you can call and there's help that you can get to get you through those dark and rough times. So I hope that for those watching, if you're one of the individuals that, you know, might be in the situation like that, that, you know, rely on your friends. And if you don't have any, you know, call somebody and get help because I know this is a very difficult time of the year. You know, it's hard, but just know that I'm out there. I'm thinking about you. Uh, I wish you the best. I hope all of you have a Merry Christmas. Um, I hope everybody gets, you know, what their heart desires. And, you know, 2019 is almost done. We get to start over in 2020. So if you had a, a shit year like me, at least we get to wipe the slate clean and start over. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. But. For those of you that have been sticking with me from the beginning, I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart, you know, for your support and your comments and, you know, just being around. I mean, it really does mean the world to me. So, 
with that being said, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very prosperous new year in 2020. Thanks, and I love you all. God bless. Peace.